The monthly stipends will be provided 861 euro for for graduates or 1200 euros for doctorate candidates. Academic exp uh, expenses will be provided. Health and accident insurance will be provided. A travel allowance will be provided. Accommodation allowance for you and your family members will be covered. A monthly rest subsidy will be provided. Guys, forget Canada. Forget US. Forget UK. This is the way. This country is one of the best country in Europe. One of the best. You don't need IETS, yes, no restraint, no restraint. You are not going to get any language restraint or language barrier because it's going, everything we are seeing today is going to be in English. You don't need IETS, yes. Ah, guys, you come with your family members and these are covered. Up to your flight ticket, up to your flight ticket, they are going to pay for it. Guys, we're going to see everything about this program, the eligibility, how you create the CV, Europe, uh, Europe, uh, Europe uh, standard, how you create the CV, everything you need to know, how you apply for this scholarship, everything you need to know. This is a government scholarship, so once they give you this scholarship, then um, automatically you will, we're going to see the schools, the, uh, depend on the course you are taking. So that's, that will not depend on the school that you are going to go to. So we're going to look at some schools that they don't have any choice. The school we are going to be seeing today, you apply online by email. The email, I'm going to provide it for you guys. We are going to be seeing this email today and it will be displayed on the screen in this video. Guys, don't miss this opportunity. You're welcome to the Chichi Show. If you haven't subscribed to this amazing channel, you want to smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on the notification bell so that next time when I upload a very good video like today's own, you'll be notified. Guys, this is going to be a very detailed video that once you watch this video, you can actually apply for this scholarship. Guys, let's go. Let's get down into this amazing opportunity. Like, it's so exciting. Um... So that scholarship in Germany, 2023 through 2024, fully funded. So that scholarship in Germany, the host country is Germany. Degree is going to be master's, master's or PhD. All right. Duration of your program is 12 to 24 months. Doctorate will be 12 to 42 months. The fields of study, these are the fields of studies a lot. Field of study, economies, development, they are a lot. Social sciences, forest uh, science, geography, business administrator, administration, sorry, a lot, a lot. So the benefits we've said, monthly stipends, um, the DAS scholarship in Germany for postgraduates, courses in 2022 cover all the expenses of the selected candidate it includes a monthly stipend will be provided which is 861 euros for 61 euros for graduates or 1200 euros for doctorate candidates the um academic expenses will be covered health and accident insurance will be provided these guys provide up to flight ticket i know someone that came through uh used the scholarship up to the time his flight ticket was paid for a travel allowance will be provided accommodation allowance will be for the family member for both for the family members will be covered a monthly rent subsidy will be provided so the eligibility is all inter all international students are eligible so all international students are eligible a degree a candidate must have a four years bachelor degree or equivalent if applying for a master's degree program so this is the eligibility now a candidate must have a master's degree or equivalent if applying for a doctorate degree program then a candidate must have two years professional experience and international students residing in germany for more than 50 years 15 years is not eligible to apply. So it's not for you that is in Germany already. 
for more than 15 years if you just came maybe for one year two years you're eligible but more than 15 years if you're in germany you are not eligible so it's basically for those as a german and those new to germany so how to apply for that scholarship in germany 2023 to 2024 all interested candidates must apply directly to the scholarship via the official website they click on the application procedure on the official website for the complete application process a candidate does not have to apply directly to the university a candidate has to apply for one per second postgraduate program maximum you can apply for is three courses okay so that's the maximum so required documents for that uh, scholarship 2022 a candidate has to apply along with the following documents guys cv which we are going to be seeing today how you create your cv for free we're going to be seeing that today then a uh, personal motivational letter a letter of recommendation so this will come from your employer or either your employer or your this will come letter of recommendation i did that first one letter of recommendation so this letter will come from either your lecturer or your professor okay from your university then uh, experience letter or employment letter so this one will come from your employer english language proficiency if you are not from english speaking country so if english is not your native language then that's when they will ask for english language proficiency the certified copies of academic degrees so when they say certified copy uh, copies like uh, when you get your degree uh, certificates you take it to the court for them to stamp that's when it becomes certified okay so certified copies of academic transcript same transcripts same thing you take it to the court and they when they stamp that's when it becomes certified so uh, the application deadline depends on the program that is selected to study for all deadline click on this so it depends on 2023 20, 20, 2024 deadline we are not going to see that today we'll go to apply now so guys let's do this together let's do this together uh we've uh, basically seen or uh, we've said talked about all those things here so what you do now you will come to here you come to this place here application requirements so please select your status and your country of origin to enable you submit an application so you come here you come, you select your country of origin okay so let's say for the sake of today's video i'm gonna be picking you guys know the country i'm gonna pick which which one is bam bam nigeria so i'm gonna be picking nigeria and once you click on this please select it's gonna take you to graduate because the graduate um program so now it's going to show you the uh show application requirement for your country so basically every country is their requirement is basically the same almost the same okay it's almost the same so what requirement must be met the holder language skills you see this is for nigeria so now um so after you've seen for your country they just said the sense if you are if you are from nigeria we've not um we've stayed more than 15 years they just said the sense you are not qualified so you come to this place here which is the application procedure you click on it so when you click on this application procedure it's going to take you to the application uh, the, uh, documents all right so now you come to here come to this that uh, application you click on this that application it's going to bring out this form for you all right if you want us to know so please this form be very careful when you are filling this form take your time take your time to fill this form if you want us to fill this form together feel free to comment it on the comment section there i'm going to make a video on how you fill this form but guys take your time to fill this form so this is the form you put your name everything 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 all your details you put them here you can see that it's written in english and german 
So taking up two posts are uh, expected before taking up a possible scholarship. You write all the information. You take your time to fill them. All right. So this is the that. This is the that um, uh, uh, form. That is the form. So it's written in English and in German. So guys. So then we go back again. So we go back again and we come to this Euro Pass. So now we want to create the CV. So how you create the CV? So you come to this place here. You come to the Euro Pass. You click on it. So when you click on it, it's going to say create CV, um, create cover letter. You come here, create your free euro pass you click on that that one then it's going to ask you it's going to say register log in or continue as a guest so for the sake of this video we are going to click continue as a guest so now it's going to ask you uh, upload your euro pass cv if you have one but if you don't have you come here you create uh, click on create my profile so you click on this create my profile so it's already it has already selected before you start select the language you want to use for in your profile so we we are using english language and it's actually select a the date format format so we're going to do the recent most recent which is this 2019 it's still our uh, recent so you come here you put your first name date of birth last name where the country you you are from then uh phone number um so this is the cv we are doing now we are creating a cv so we are creating a cv now so phone number is going to ask you address and all that so after you finish answering that then you come back here that then you finish with your personal information so you are then done with your personal information on your cv right then you come to this place where you click here for your work um, work experience you come here for your work experience so after you it's going to pop up the game for you to fill in your work experience and your work experience so after you finish with your work experience then you go to then you go to the next is going to be your education and training so after then you write your all your education that you've required we acquired all your life you put it there in your cv then after that you put your personal skills then you've created your cv so that's the europe then you've created your what cv because that's one of the requirements so that's how you create your cv right you create the cv here too so once you finish creating it then you download it once you you download for free guys it is free you download it then you upload all right so then you have created your cv then you have created your cv guys then we are going to go back to the first page i'm going to go back to the first page so we're going to go back to the uh, first page so here this is where you see list of eligible countries all right list of eligible countries then you click on it then you can see all the list the list of all the eligible countries pretty much all the countries in the world are here so you have our countries from in europe countries in north africa countries from south uh in um sub sahari africa you also have country countries in um america and north and central america you also have countries in south america you have countries in asians you have countries in south and central asia you have countries in the Oceani, oceanians uh, and you also have countries in uh, east asia so pretty much all the countries in the world are here okay they are eligible for this amazing opportunity so uh what can be funded so these are the let's go check the list of all postgraduate courses with application deadline 
So all these are all the uh, the list of all their postgraduate courses and application deadline that this program has. So we are uh, let's just take one of these um, country uh, one of these schools. So these are all the schools you can see them here. This place is uh, the institution. Here is their language, pretty much most of them English, English, English. That's what they use to communicate. That's why I say, don't bother a bad language. Don't say, oh, German language is going to be a barrier. No. All right. So you see English, English, English here. Then the, the, uh, the degree is master's, PhD, some are PhD, some of the courses are PhD, some are master's. Then you see duration without uh, German language. So if you are doing it without German language, some are 17 months, 24 months, 22 months, 18 months. It all depends. So now the uh, that scholarship, you can see application deadline for intake 2023 to 2024. Uh, for that scholarship, there are some August 2022, uh, October 2022. Uh, October 2022, depend on the course. Some you can see there's September 2023 or uh, December, to different dates, depends on the course. So, guys, let's check one of these universities. Let's check one of those course, the courses that we have here. So, let's just click on one. So, let's click on this international education management. So, guys, uh, you can see there are their application de deadline you can see everything about the programs and everything here in this form so we are going to be stopping this amazing video here today guys check out utilize this opportunity i wish you guys all the best that's all i can say i wish you all the best this is the government of germany that is uh, sponsoring this uh, program so guys when the government offers you a scholarship the school don't have any choice that will give you admission so and you can come with your family members which is amazing and they are going to support you guys to the fullest and this is a very good country so utilize the opportunity and i wish you guys all the best if you haven't subscribed to this amazing channel you want to smash that subscribe button hit the like button turn your notification bell so that next time when i upload a very good video like this one you'll be notified my other new subscribers thank you so much i really appreciate you guys i'll see you in my next time be good and be safe bye